All right, let's talk about Dak Prescott, a guy who, let's just be honest, there's constantly a lot of opinions about. Prescott is someone who finished second in MVP voting last season. However, obviously, once the playoffs came rolling around, it wasn't so good. So what's the deal with Prescott? How good is he? Well, let's just get into it. Like, first, let's start off with something like this. I do think this is a lot of what you see with the Cowboys. It's really, you know, I think well-ran plays, uh, good schemes, and guys getting, you know, open relatively consistently. I I think an element of it is the fact that, you know, uh, let's just be honest, not the toughest competition the Cowboys uh, have to face defensively, typically. Getting to play the Giants twice a year, the Commanders twice a year, and the Eagles defense last year twice was certainly a benefit, and let's see uh, what's going to happen on this play, where it's a play action, Prescott rolls out towards the top of the screen and looks towards CeeDee Lamb, Prescott does in fact you know, run this play action and rolls out, and right here you see that uh, CeeDee Lamb is open. It's not the easiest play in the world, but Really, this has been well ran by Dallas. Prescott makes the throw, and they're able to get a completion. This is a good play by everyone involved. That's the way we should view things, right? It's similar to what you see Brock Purdy do a lot, or Jared Goff do a lot. These are plays that, quite frankly, are most of football plays. So being able to hit these types of plays consistently is very valuable. And to be clear, I don't want to put the game manager tag on Dak Prescott. I do think there are other things parts of his game that are very good. It's not just, you know, running an offense, but he can run it in more unique ways sometimes. I think plays like this were just kind of understanding when you should or shouldn't make certain passes. It's it's man coverage. Uh, you see the route that's on the screen. Prescott takes a snap, runs the play action, but a commander's player is getting through essentially untouched. So for Prescott, he's in trouble, and this route hasn't necessarily opened up just yet. I think a lot of quarterbacks would just throw this one out of the back of the end zone, but Prescott is the kind of guy who will take chances if he likes a matchup, or in this case, maybe likes a defender he's throwing against. He is going to throw one up, and they're able to get a completion. It's kind of something you see uh, like Derek Carr do a lot of kind of just you know giving your guy a chance, which is what Prescott does, and more often than not, it works out for him. And I also think there are things he does above and beyond just the game manager stuff. Something like this, where it's, it's a zone coverage concept that the Packers are in. CeeDee Lamb's running a deep shot. That's one that can often get open. Although, keep in mind, it's not just zone coverage, but this is just a three-man rush. So you got eight guys in coverage. Windows can be hard to find in this situation. Prescott takes the snap, looks over towards CeeDee Lamb, but doesn't love what he sees. Like I said, you know, kind of essentially double coverage there. So not an ideal scenario. Prescott instead is going to use his legs and pick up a first down. So that's what Prescott did. Really good job. But let's talk about, obviously, the other side of the coin. I think it's fair to say the playoffs haven't typically gone as well as you would hope uh, and certainly haven't gone as well as typically the regular season goes for Prescott. Why is that? Well, if we look at the Packers uh, game last year, I think you can kind of see why. Where, for example, play like this, it's a one-on-one matchup to Brandon uh, Cooks on the outside right here. Prescott takes the snap and is going to look up in that direction and fire in that direction. And right here, there certainly is a, a, a window. It is not a big window, though. And to me, I think it's kind of pretty simple how I would view it, in fact. Prescott... Usually, I think it's fair to say, usually does kind of beat up on bad defenses and on good defenses. It's just, it's tougher to make these plays. And this time he isn't quite able to make it. And listen, I'm not sure if I would qualify to Joe Barry Packers defense as a good defense, but I thought it played pretty well in this game at least. So I think it's it's fair to say that like, you know, Prescott's the kind of guy who, if it's a test, he's going to pass an easier test with flying colors, but if it's a tougher test, maybe he won't quite do as good of a job. And I'm not even saying it's really his fault in a lot of ways, because I think sometimes it's just as simple as this. Remember when I brought up earlier, like, hey, he'll give his guy a chance and usually it'll work out. Well, here he's going to do a pretty similar thing. This is a third down and five situation. It's still just a seven point game at this point. You have a one-on-one matchup once again. It's Brandon Cooks on Jair Alexander, which is is not an ideal matchup, but like I said, it's the playoffs. You you get tougher matchups when you're here. When Prescott takes the snap, you're going to see right here that, you know, uh, it's kind of one of those situations where I'm like, yeah, I, I see why Prescott wants to make this throw. However, when he does, Alexander just straight up wins it. Like, that's just a good defensive play, and it results in an interception instead of a potential completion, whereas when you're playing the commanders, that's usually a completion. 
I think it's really easy to hear everything I just said as solely a knock against Prescott. I see. He's someone who be- beats up on bad teams, but is never going to get it done in the big moments. But that's not what I said at all. I-, I think that there are plenty of quarterbacks who are in the uh, Dak Prescott style that have had success in the playoffs. The two guys I mentioned were Jared Goff and Brock Purdy. Those are two guys that, well, I think all three of those quarterbacks are very different in their own ways. Uh, two guys that definitely can beat up on bad teams, but also have had success against good teams, right? Tom Brady would dominate against bad teams, but would also dominate against good teams. It's not exactly a, not necessarily a quarterback issue entirely. I think part of it might just be the Cowboys, you know, having CeeDee Lamb really helps and have usually had one or two great receivers in Prescott's tenure, but have kind of struggled to get, I think, a lot of wide receiver depth. And we saw this with the Packers for years, right? Rodgers had Devontae Adams, and then kind of a a bunch of just like, okay, guys. And it was essentially, in the regular season, never an issue. But once the playoffs rolled around, it became an issue. Like, I do think in the playoffs, depth matters more. And having multiple options so you can get better matchups is a really important thing. It's why a team like the Chiefs, who maybe you know, outside of Travis Kelsey, don't have a star wide receiver, but they have so many players who are quality wide receivers that are still able to have success once the big moments roll around. And these things also kind of compound on themselves, right? Prescott makes one throw, that's a mistake, and then maybe he plays too cautious on the next drive because he doesn't want to make another mistake, and then that results in a three and out. So now he's like, okay, well, now I have to make something happen and plays too aggressive on the next, you know, drive, resulting in an interception, a pick six that kind of ices the game in the first half. All of that stuff, right? Uh, of course, there is a mental side to football as well, and to suggest that there ha- that wasn't part of what went wrong against Green Bay wouldn't fully be fair either, I would say. I just think it also wouldn't be fully fair to suggest that, oh, he's a good player who just chokes in the big moments. So I guess, you know, time to come to the conclusion of this video. How do I view Dak Prescott? Do I think he is a great quarterback? I don't. Uh, Even when he was an MVP candidate last year, I do think that was kind of a down year for quarterbacks. The typical, you know, guys that are in the running weren't you know, for whatever reason, weren't with Joe Burrow getting injured, Mahomes kind of having a down year, Josh Allen uh, kind of having bad interception luck, uh, and then you know, Lamar was kind of the one left over that was still having a good year, so he ended up winning it, uh, and I still think there was a bit of a jump between Lamar and Prescott. I also, as I mentioned, like, I mean, you look at last year, the couple times they played good defenses for the Cowboys, the, uh, the passing game did struggle, but that doesn't take away from, listen, there's still a lot of value in being able to beat up on, you know, a bad defenses. Succeeding in good situations is a real benefit and a real positive. So I don't think he's a bad quarterback by any means. He's just probably not in that elite tier, in my opinion. And I do think there is like actual reasons for why maybe in the big moments we've seen some struggles that are outside of just, uh, he's a choker. That's it. Let's pack it up. If you're a Cowboys fan, I don't know if that makes you feel better or worse, but those are my thoughts on Prescott. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree or do you disagree? I always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.